I squirted a wee bit of paint on this thing yesterday evening. Looks like I missed a few spots. It looks like it could use some more paint. That's pretty good though. I might squirt some more paint on that. I'm going to go ahead and get me a can of paint. We'll spray a little bit more on there. I'll be right back. One of the tricky things about painting this is, I think I mentioned it before, you, you kind of need to spray paint from every different angle because the way these springs are made, it's hard to get paint all over them. That's kind of why back in the old days, when they used to build cars like the you know, 53 Chevy and stuff like that, they would literally dump the whole car in the paint and bring it out. Stuff like that. At least that's what I've been led to believe. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's how they did paint it, how they did cars when they built them in the factory that way. So the idea was to get paint inside of and all over every part of the metal to preserve it. There used to be a, you know, people used to say to build cars to last 25 years. Of course, nowadays, people don't say that so much, but you know, I, I've noticed that Mechanically, cars, a lot of cars, I can't say that about all of them, but a lot of cars are pretty good these days. Uh, I know a lot of, I, I use Toyotas as, as an example just because I, I have acquired a liking for Toyotas this stage in my life. But it's just like that one down there we just looked at with the rust on it. Toyotas mechanically will last long, much longer than the body will. Hold together. The bodies will rust out way before they'll stop running. There's a lot of people say that, you know. It's not that they break down, they get old, and they wear out as much as it is they just rust out. Because they make them out of pretty thin metal. They make all parts out of pretty thin metal nowadays, but they make them collapse also. So, you know, back in the day, you'd have a huge frame, it could be up to an eighth of an inch thick, like on some of those old trucks. And uh, that thing would never rust away. But uh, it wouldn't bend either. So if you hit somebody with something like that, it would, it damage, the shock damage it would do to your body would be tremendous. So nowadays they literally make them out of very thin metal and they make it to fold up and collapse and absorb the shock to keep your body from absorbing the shock. So that's, you know, a lot, a lot more factors than just being too cheap to put metal in a car anymore to be considered when you're thinking about something like that.